But why? 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 You why? That's impossible. Are you being serious? You didn't know that only five per people and most can go through one of the numbered doors, right? The number nine isn't going to be an exception to that rule. Uh, Navi, go back to Ocarina. <laughs> why, why are you saying Navi? Who is Navi? Which one of my butterflies is Navi? Wow. <laughs> Regardless, at least three people would get left behind. You're right. This is true. The moment he said it, Junpei felt a chill run down his spine. It was true. How Lotus could remain cavalier about so terrifying a prospect was beyond him. When they found the number nine, the, the number nine, they would have to choose which three of them would die. Or just kill the other three. And it was just fine. Lotus's forehead is furrowed. Do you think I could have a moment alone? There are some things I need to think about. Like finding Snake? I also approve of the state of the chat. I love my chat. People that come to my stream are actually one of the most amazing people ever. I'm gonna be honest mm -hmm. with you. Junpei and Jun turned and began walking away from Lotus. Talking to her had uh, talking to her had left them feeling ill. Junpei's heart felt heavy and his step sluggish. But he told himself pessimism would get them nowhere. He forced himself to smile and turned to June. Let's just focus on finding Snake for now, okay? Yes, you're, uh, sorry. Yes, you're right. Oh, it can be, it can also be pl uh, non platonically. You just have to fight Ed for it. And Kit Kat. Especially Please Kit Kat. Don't die, I'm fragile. <laughs> Ed, why are you so tall? Why are you so tall? Why are you so small? You so tall. You so small. The worst part is that you're not the tallest person in your family, and that's baffling to me. I'm definitely not. That's is is little Mike taller than you? I believe so. That's that's baffling to me. Give me one second, guys. What are you doing? Ah. Uh. We can think about those other things later. Junpei nodded. Alright, where should we go next? Where should we go next? Straw poll time! What are the options? First class cabin. Cabin. Hallway. Hospital. Are you giving me Cabin, a chicken wing? Hallway. Uh, hospital. Yeah. Chicken wings. I am not as adorable as Lucajin. I'm sorry about that. But then again, I don't know if someone's more adorable than Lucajin. There you are. Okay. I'm not gonna vote this time, just in case we... Just in case. So we have nine people watching. Well, Hallway's already super winning. Yep. And we have six votes. I think it's I think it's hallway. Are you are you declaring it hallway? Well, if there's nine people, 
six people have voted. Five for hallway, one for cabin. Okay. So there's only three more people who can vote, and they can't change the winner. You think Miss Ace cuter than, than Luca? Mm, I could see that, I could see that. Yeah, mm. I could see that. Anyway, we're going to the hallway. Let's go back downstairs and check out the hallway with all the doors. They did a thing, and I'm eating. So they did things. What? <laughs> I'm eating. They went do down to the hallway. And ahead of them, farther down the hallway, they spotted Ace. Hey. Snake. Where are you? Answer me if you're there. Jinpei paused. What did he want to do? Did he want to run to Ace, or did he want to lay, let Ace handle it? So happy. So happy. Shappy Yoshi. <laughs> should we let, should we run to Ace, or should we let Ace handle it? What do you guys say we should do? My boy. My boy. Run to Ace um, <clears throat> while the camera is showing from like a, a zoomed out, and also uh, you're on the beach and there's a sunset, <laughs> and then you jump and he hugs you out of the air, and you do that like. Spinny hug. <laughs> and you two are making was that out. A little too, and... Was that a little too specific? Maybe. Maybe. I mean, Ace is the man. Okay, well, I'm waiting for answers, I'm gonna say. If you would like to donate, just type exclamation mark donate, and it'll give you a link. But only do that if you have some extra money. All of the money raised in this stream, in the Halloween stream, will go to help me pay for a plane ticket, the MacFest badge, and the hotel room. Everything else that's left over will probably be used by me to spend while I am at MacFest, like food and drinks and maybe video games. If you don't have extra money, that's perfectly fine and understandable. And I still love you. Okay, that's two run to aces. This is this, this. Run. Also, the other day, I was talking to a couple of classmates, and one of my classmates this year, that uh, this term is. It's. I've heard it's the king of conventions, but I've never gone to MacFest. I've only gone to PAX East. Eh, I kind of preferred MacFest. I mean, uh, PAX. Really? Yeah. But at the same time, the MacFest you went, I wasn't there. Yeah, I guess that's true. So, you told me, like, I remember seriously that you were like, I think I would have enjoyed it more if you were here and everything because you're. Yeah. You're the most adorable puppy ever. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm so gross. I'm sorry, guys. Anyway, let's just run to Ace. The June Into, Junpei jogged up to Ace. And we don't see June running because her poops don't jiggle. Hearing their footsteps, he turned to greet them. Ah, hello there. Snake is... Well, that's obvious, isn't it? I assume you haven't found him yet, either? Jinpei nodded. I really wonder where he could have gone. Well, wherever he's disappeared to, we must find him as quickly as we can. For Clover's sake. I'm not gonna continue with Ed being a puppy, because it's kinda gross. Yes, thank you. It's kind of gross. 
<laughs> June's face looked kind of enraptured. Oh, so you were there the same year Ed won. You won, oh, like... Nice. Yeah, because I think you won 2014? I honestly 15. don't remember. I don't remember, I don't remember when remember you went either. Time. By the way, do you think Clover and Snake are really siblings? Uh, why would you say that? Why would you say that? The question seems somehow odd to Junpei. Well, <laughs> it's obvious, isn't it? They don't look alike at all. I looked at him. Ace looked at him for a moment and then spoke. Yes, you know, now that you mention it, they don't. Now that you mention it? Still, there are a great many siblings who don't look like one another. It certainly isn't rare. Junpei wasn't sure why, or even if he was saying what he thought he was, but he could have sworn that A's face tightened as he spoke. Ugh, I'm burpy now. I blame Ed. At any rate, we really must find Snake as soon as possible. The clock is ticking and we really can't afford to waste any time. Very well. Let's get back to the search, shall we? You can leave this area to me. Alright. Let's go back, Jimpy. At June's urging, they left. Where should we go now? They found themselves back at the stairs, but Junpei's man mean mean wasn't doing well. There was so much left to think about. Yet Oh me oh, my no. oh hello internet is died? No oh. my oh Fix it. Yeah, he needs to. But there was so much to Fix. think about, but nope. It would have to be put aside for now. As Ace has said, Finding Snake was their top priority. Junpei did his best to clear his mind. Alright, where should we go next? We already went to the casino, so do we go to the cabin? Or do we go back to the hospital room? Because... We already want every everything else, and the clear answer is back to the hospital room. Let's go to the cabin. Let's go okay. check out the la the first glass cabin. Okay, coming with you because this is how I talk now. They turned. They turned and headed towards B deck. Outside of the first class cabin, they found Clover. She was standing in front of the wall. She was staring at the meaningless point on the wall. Her eyes blank. What should Junpei do? Should we talk to her? Should we leave her alone? Guys! Oh. Well, clearly that's the answer. We'll have to talk to her. Are you alright? He did this. Uh, he did his best to sound friendly, but Clover didn't respond. Look, I know you're really worried, but um... No, no voting. I could think of no words to say that didn't sound hollow and fake. Junpei hesitated. Clara was so consumed by worry and fear that Junpei feared it would crush her. Her actions didn't surprise him. She had suddenly lost her brother, who seemed to have been very close to. Alone. Her voice was thin and barely audible. Alone. Alone. I said, leave me alone! Suddenly she was screaming. You're so annoying! Just go away and leave me alone! Just looking at you guys is pissing me off. Go away, okay? <coughs> Just go somewhere else! Stop bothering me! Junpei was taken aback. Such anger and hate. Jun's eyes had gone wide with surprise as well. Why are you still here? Didn't you hear me? His egg was so amazing. Oh my god. I have to Thank link you. you that, Ed. That a video. If anyone can link Ed, the video of Mayo Hello's egg was it, it was so good. And I'm gonna be honest, it earned him his freaking mod sword. Okay? Freaking nice. mod sword. He is a mod in John's stream. Okay? Okay. Nice. You can post link, I accept. 